in season five of the World Poker Tour at the Caribbean Poker Adventure, I didn't really play as well as I wanted to. I thought I was the best player at the table, but that was wrong. Here comes the turn card, Mike. Another deuce! Another deuce, that's gonna do it! Oh! Jonathan oh! Little has done it! He has outdrawn Corey Carroll, and Beth, what can you say? Tough luck for Corey Carroll down the stretch. Jonathan Little just destined to take the title, outdrawing Corey on the last two consecutive hands. Jonathan, smile, son, it's over. <laughs> You've won the 1.1 million. I just tend to not get all that excited. I'm sure it's great to win, but I mean, I just don't feel the urge to get up and jumping down and scream. Oh! oh. oh my God. Sick. Wow. 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 Plus. She's such a great player. He's been absolutely killing the circuit uh, the last four months or so. I'd be lying if I said I don't think he's one of the ten best tournament poker players in the world. He, he knows what to do in every spot, and he's just fun to watch. I'm all in. I call him. But look at this. He says all in. I'm drawn dead. Scott quickly calls him. This tournament is over, folks. It doesn't matter what comes on the river. Well, Vince, that's just another example of why this 22-year-old is playing at his third WPT final table and why he's currently in the lead to become the WPT Player of the Year. It makes it much sweeter to get back. I was, you know, expecting never to win anything again, and here I am back already. Being in the lead for the WPT Player of the Year is very exciting. It would be a great accomplishment to be in a group with the elite players like J.C. Tran, Dan LeGrandu, Gavin Smith. I mean, they're all great players. Here's to the champion of the Mirage Poker Shootout, Jonathan Little.